Laurie, would you mind getting the garage door? That's funny. It was open when we left. Wait a minute. I can't allow you to do that. Acting like a gentleman, you must be delirious. Why don't we just leave the car in the driveway? It looks great there. What's the matter? Danny doesn't want us to open the door. He probably rented our garage to a bookie. All right, Danny, what's in there? You'll never guess. I don't intend to stand here trying. Hi, what's happening? Danny's doing his famous Monty Hall impression. We're supposed to figure out what's behind door number one. <laughs> I think he sold me a raffle ticket a couple of months ago, and... Yeah, right, I remember. First prize was an Albertini. Sounds like something you put tomato sauce on. <laughs> it happens to me in an Italian sports car. Danny, are you trying to tell us you won the raffle? In a manner of speaking... Hey, fantastic. What color is it? Sort of an off-brown. Is it a convertible? You could say that. Oh, I bet the interior's incredible. Genuine leather. How many horsepower is it? One. One? One. One? Mom, I didn't win first prize. I won second. Keith, I'd like you to meet F. Scott Fitzgerald. Don't tell me. We want a horse that writes novels. He's a racehorse, fourth generation thoroughbred. Danny, I don't care how thorough he's bred, we cannot keep him in the garage. Why not? Well, for one thing, he's not garage broken. <laughs> now, can't we sit down and talk this thing out rationally? Danny, I'm sure F. Scott appreciates your offer, but I'm afraid he just wouldn't be comfortable in your room. Mom, there's a horse in the garage. Is he my birthday present? Your birthday isn't for six months. It's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> Can we keep it? We were just discussing that. You know, he probably couldn't be sold for much. He is a used horse. Yeah, well, maybe we could put him out to stud. What's that? That's what every racehorse dreams of. I say F. Scott could be the beginning of an empire. We'll make a fortune. If we start now, he'll be ready for the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont. Mm-hmm. And you'll be the first owner shorter than the jockey. With F. Scott's earnings, we can buy more horses, and Partridge Farms would be worth a fortune. Why, sure, Mom. You know, it's not every day that you win an empire in a raffle. I'm surrounded by doubters. Danny, have you figured out what it's going to cost to keep him? What can it cost? You throw him a few oats in the morning and he's happy. Now, it would be kind of fun to have our own racehorse. And we did get him free. Mm -hmm. Another thing, how do we know he can race? Oh, that's not fair. I mean, you're looking a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, yeah, that's right. My brother won the horse. What do you mean, is F. Scott happy? How can you tell if a horse is happy? Who is this? Oh. Yeah, well, hold on a second. I'll check. It's F. Scott's trainer. He says he's willing to keep working with F. Scott if, if we want him to. Mom, Wayne Newton and Burt Bacharach have race horses. What's that got to do with anything? Well, they're in music and we're in music. It's practically a tradition. Please, Mom. Come on, Mom, please. Can we? Well, I guess it wouldn't do any harm to look into it. All right. We can 